1979 first semi-final. Collingwood Def Fitzroy Fitzroy began the 1979 season with an 80-point thrashing of Collingwood at Victoria Park, where they had not won for decades. Later that season, they defeated Melbourne by 190 points at Waverley with a staggering score of 36.22. Helmeted rover Gary Wilson was dominant winning best and fairest with 151 votes. Their fierce final against the Pies was a high standard affair and Collingwood went ahead by 22 points. But for fans of quality cinema, it is best known for providing footage of the cult Australian film The Club. The film's use of this vision really pushes its luck. At one stage the commentator praises the 130,000-strong crowd. A suddenly sober Jeff Hayward, who had barely been able to kick ball over the jam box in previous 90 minutes, suddenly headed in a cross from Bernie Quinlan and Alex Gizuolenko to score a goal from his back pocket, and Rene Kink, who played so well in first semi-final appears in the film as Tank O'Donoghue. Sarcastic. Shark elbowed. Towel-throwing armoured car. 2003 Grand Final. Collingwood vs Brisbane Lions Collingwood had beaten Brisbane in the qualifying. Final. Nathan Buckley had just shared the Brownlow medal. And the Lions were the walking wounded. No player was more stunned than Nigel Lappin. Lee Matthews later said they used 18 vials local anaesthetic, most of which eased the pain Lappin's broken ribs. It was later determined that his lung was also punctured. Punctured lungs sound worse than they actually are, Matthews said. Lappin's best friend and potential replacement Chris Scott was stripped, tied up and injected as in Brisbane. But seconds before he had to decide. Matthews tapped him on the shoulder. Nige is playing, he said. Brisbane's Simon Black tries to retrieve the ball in the 2003 AFL Grand Final. Brisbane outclassed them comprehensively, with Simon Black putting in a great performance to make one of the great individual Grand Finals. Bagging 39 balls. This was the pinnacle of Brisbane. A flamboyant. Ruthless team with champions on every line. It was my worst day in football. Buckley said later. Nathan Buckley and Michael Voss faced each other in the 2003 Grand Final. 1991 Collingwood beat Brisbane Bears Robert Walls walked into a football club in complete disarray. Christopher Scasse had escaped. Reuben Pellerman bought the club as a Valentine's Day gift for his wife. The playing list was a mix of traitors and job seekers. But there were some real regulars there and one of them was Johnny Gastev. Who else would you play against Peter Dacos? Who has scored eight goals twice in a row? David Ogg. Shane Strempel. No. It had to be Gastev. He was strong. Fast. And unlike some of his teammates. He didn't smoke half a pack of cigarettes a day. Dacos had turned Mark Zanotti inside out in the first half. At the main break Dacos made it six points in a row and Gastev was called up. Macedonian Marvel's seventh and one of the best of his career follow.